this this is real, very very real and exciting and uh, you know get pumped up. It is about taking a chance in life, and it's just a small chance. My dad always said, when there's hardly anything to lose and everything to gain, by all means take a chance. And when you look at this business, uh, a $500 investment to start your own business is just unbelievable. Guys, guess what? If you're brand new in this room, or if you're, you know, you've been in for a little bit, or you're thinking about, you know, man, I want this really bad. I'm here to tell you guys, this can work for you. What you really should be scared about tonight is if you're one of the people that say no. I didn't want to bet on anyone else. I wanted to take my future in my own hands. I went into business with Mr. BK Bareko. What a CEO. Let's give him a round of applause real quick. It's all about hope. It's all about changing people's lives. It's all about allowing them the opportunity to develop into something great. Because I, I honestly believe that in everybody in this room, there is something great deep down inside of you and you just need the opportunity to let that shine. I love this business, you guys, because you control, and we kind of talked about this, you literally control how much money you want to make. You help more people in the business, you make a, a larger income. You know, if Alex wants a raise, if Sean wants a raise, they go out there and they talk to more people, they help more people. Okay, so just get excited about it, get fired up, and follow the people that have already done it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to recreate the wheel, you don't have to invent something different, just follow what they're doing. I decided that $8.25 an hour wasn't enough, $10 an hour was not enough, even $12 an hour, nowhere near enough. It's a lot of people helping each other grow this thing. I think that's the most powerful concept. You get to work with your friends. You control your income, and that make, that'll make more and more sense to you once you engage in the business. Like, how do you control your income? I can't, I can't control everybody else, but you can control what you do every day. You can control your attitude. You can do things differently than your friends. The Brock story? Okay, yeah, so I had a cousin. I got in it, and I, I was making no money. I called my, my cousin. I'm like, dude, you got to get in this business. He's like, I don't want to do it, and he waited. He waited 12 hours, okay? That cost him a fortune because someone popped in and, and now going to start executive tomorrow, okay? But he just drank the product for, like, literally 14 months, and he missed out on a whole lot of growth. So now he's going to be playing catch-up. So my point is, the moral of the story is if you're in the business tonight, and this is not a top priority in your life, make it a priority. Like, you have to give time and effort. I'm not up here saying this is the easiest thing in the world. It's not the easiest thing in the world. It takes time and effort, but anything worthwhile takes time and effort. You have this much time to live. You know, we're in our early teens, early 20s. We're ready to go. We're ready to work. We're ready to have fun. Why would we work for someone for the rest of our life and then die? It does not make sense, but that's what we're all taught. You know, why don't we work a little bit right here and then enjoy the money we have and live the rest of our life for fun. So I was a full-time college kid busting tables at Outback Steakhouse for $8 an hour a year ago. And trust me, working Friday, Saturday nights as a college kid when your friends are having a good time, it's not fun. And so I was pretty motivated to make this thing work and really made a decision right then and there to pursue this thing and really see where it could take me. And since then, uh, we've grown our, our team out to about 3,000 people across uh, like 43 states, uh, 16 different countries. And like Kaylee said, it's paying me about 12 grand a month, and on top of that, they're paying for my lease on a new BMW. And I'm not here to brag about what I'm saying or what I'm doing, but basically, I'm here to show you guys that there's an opportunity here. I mean, I'm, a, I'm an average college student with average grades, and there's nothing, I mean, different about me from the rest of the people in this room and you guys watching. I mean, this is something that anyone can do, and we're confident that if you get on board with this and really follow what we've done and really utilize us, and, because we have a support system, we really want to reach out to the newest person and help them succeed with this. Help them be the next success story with the company. And it's not about the person to the right, to the left of you. It's about what you want from this. We're excited. I mean, we say that word a lot because this is something to get really, really excited about. Um, it's nuts, man. You know, I've been doing this for like 13 months and it's not just me anymore. I mean, it's not just me making money. Braddock has been making money. I'm gonna go into, you know, what happened to me, you know, how this thing, you know, really started. Cause it's kind of crazy how it started. It started with one Facebook message and it blows my mind looking back on it is that when Marty messaged me on Facebook, if I didn't click accept, none of you would probably be here right now. And that makes me think about life and how these tiny little small decisions literally change your course of life forever. And, and it's really crazy. So really quick, you know, I'm Alex Morton. I'm 22, average college kid, dude, slow math in high school, 
1490 SAT score, you know, never really did that too well in school, but you know, I'm from Columbus, Ohio, small town, came out to Arizona in 08 to go to school, ASU obviously, and uh, at 18 years old, like most 18 year old guys, you know, all I wanted to do was party and have fun and girls and blah, blah, blah. So I got into a lot of trouble. Um, actually, I wound up getting kicked out of Hasiampa, the dorms here at ASU. So I don't know, at 18, I was on my buddy's couch for about six months in that time frame. All my friends were Best Buy Subway, Jimmy John's, you know, raw sushi, make eight, nine, 10 bucks an hour. I didn't want to do that because no one wants to do that. I don't care who you are. Getting paid by the hour, getting paid on salary sucks and you shouldn't have to do it. Okay, it should be, in my, my opinion, it should be illegal, dude. You're God's highest form of creation. Why on earth would you let somebody else tell you when to show up to work, when to eat lunch, when to pee, when to go home, on top of all that, hey, I'm gonna pay you 20 bucks an hour, hey, I'm gonna pay you $75,000 a year, why? Here you create your own income. You can be 16 and make as much money as you want. You can be 85 and make as much money as you want. Why would you let somebody else tell you how much money you're worth? That doesn't make sense to me. So I had a friend who was 21 at the time, making like five grand a month selling real estate. If you guys can remember, 06, 07, the housing market crashed in Arizona, bad, and half the agents quit. So I thought there was an opportunity there, which there was. I filled the exam about 10 times, because I'm really not that book smart, like I said. I eventually got it, closed some deals, made some money, spent it all, partying and having fun. But I learned a lot about sales and service and dealing with people, things most of you were never taught at home. Most people, the average person out in Phoenix, or in Germany, or Sweden, or Oklahoma, or Chicago, has no idea how to make money. That's why most people you know in your life are broke. It's not even their fault, but it's not taught in high school. It's not taught in college. You have to learn it from someone already doing it. That's why we say if you want to go get a basketball, you're going to study Michael Jordan. You want to go to soccer, study David Beckham. And if you're sitting here tonight at 16, 22, 45, or 88, and you want to make a million dollars in the next three years, you probably should study someone and learn from someone who's making a million dollars. That, I mean, that'd probably be pretty good advice, dude. Taking advice from your dad's best friend, making 50 grand a year at a bank, probably shouldn't listen to that person. Because if you say what people say and do what they do, you're going to get what they have every single time, guys. So, I don't know, I share that story because we all know life, especially in business, time means everything. You can be the smartest person in the world, get the highest SAT score in the world, go to the best college in the world, guys. If you're not in the right place at the right time with the right people, chances are you'll be struggling financially for the rest of your life. So, if you want to work till you're 72, then you might as well get up and leave right now, okay? Because this is about a three to five year plan to where you never have to worry about money ever again. Okay, literally, how cool would it be three years from now to walk into a store and never look at a price tag? Okay, families are torn apart because of financial issues, guys. Most Americans go to dinner, they don't even order what they want to eat. Most Americans go to dinner and they order food to consume from the price, guys. That's insane to me. Money is such a big deal in so many people's lives. It's, it's nuts. So about a year ago, I got a message from him on Facebook, Marty Rewerka. Obviously, that was a blessing. Thank God on that one, guys. And honestly... First time I saw this scam, too good to be true, skeptical, not doing it, called it a pyramid scheme, didn't even know what a pyramid scheme was, didn't want to do it. So, I don't know, eventually I got on the phone with Brad Alcazin, obviously the guy in the video, he's been my mentor in this thing, he's like, a, he's family to a lot of people in this room, you guys. You know, last year he was 25 years old, making $10,000 a week with no college degree. Obviously, if there's someone in, in your age demographic making 10 grand a week with no boss, no job, and no hours, you're probably going to at least hear about what the dude's doing, and if you're not willing to, I don't even know why you're here tonight. I got on the phone with Brad. Here's the thing. Pyramid schemes are illegal. Okay, so if you're skeptical, here you go. Okay, pyramid schemes are illegal and they don't involve a tangible product or a commodity. We have cans of Verve in the room, bottles of Vima. That's a product and a commodity, you guys. Second, Verve's the official drink of the Phoenix Suns. You live in Phoenix. So I looked into it, you guys. I've grown up in the industry. My parents did something like this with soaps and cleaning supplies and they got into life insurance and made a fortune. They retired, they retired at 48 years old. My dad's not the smartest guy in the world. Dropped out of college at 20 years old, guys. And I watched them make millions and millions of dollars. I knew I could do it too. Because you don't have to be smart to make money. Friends, if anyone's ever told you you have to be smart to make money, chances are they have none. Okay? You don't have to be smart to make money. You have to be at the right place at the right time with the right people. And you have to surround yourself with people who A, know what they're doing, know where they're going, and who are excited, and who are going to teach you what to do. That's the best part about Vima, is everybody teaches you what to do. So we say stop spending money on Red Bull, Rockstar, Monster, 5 Hour Energy, Starbucks. There's no bucks in Starbucks, so stop drinking it, ladies. Please, guys. It's like $4 for a cup of coffee. Why would you drink it? You could get all your friends in the world to drink Red Bull. They're never going to send you a dollar in the mail. So why are you drinking that stuff? So transfer your dollars from that to this. That's what I did. I had no money. I was broke a year ago. I ordered two cases of Verve, looked at my Facebook and phone book, and realized all my friends like to make money. All my friends like to be healthy. Nobody walks around saying, man, I wish I was sick today, or man, I wish I could be broke. Of course not, dude. Everyone wants to look good, feel good, and make money. So I invited 50 friends over to my house at ASU a year ago, when I was making $0 a month, okay? 
25 told me they'd show up. Only 10 friends came. Out of the 10, six said, you're crazy, you're nuts, it's illegal, it's a scam. My mom says those don't work. My dad's a businessman, which to me doesn't even make sense. Everyone's a freaking businessman these days. No one makes money in those things, which is false, obviously. Four signed up that night. One was Josh Noble, you guys heard from. We've turned four into over 3,000 now, active. High school kids, college kids, a lot of adults, a couple athletes. Our team's in, yeah, 43 states and like 12 countries, guys. I've signed up 15 friends in a year. Eight of them quit. You can't control that. Most people don't have enough in here or in here to, to you know, ever succeed anyway. So most people do quit. Who cares? It doesn't matter. If you want to succeed, you're going to succeed no matter what. You're going to make it happen no matter what. So seven stuck with you guys. And yeah, I'm seeing like 3,500 a week, which is, you know, next month I'm on track to hit ambassador, which is by the numbers. Yeah, it's a quarter million a year, 20 grand a month. And I'm not up here to talk about that. But you should see, hear and see that and see me and say, wow, this kid's in a t-shirt, board shorts and vans. And in two years, he'll make a million dollars a year. I probably can do it too. Okay. So the way it works, it's not sold in stores. You can't find it safely. Costco, Walmart, Target, Jewasco, you guys. It's not in stores. Okay, never will be. There's no billboards, magazine ads, commercials, NBA playoff commercials, none of that stuff, movie previews. None of that. It's all word of mouth advertising. Why? We all go to the movies tonight and see a really good movie. The first thing we do is we tell our friends about it. We tell our friends about everything in our lives all the time, guys. Here we just get paid for it. Hey, I really like Verb. Try it. And here's the thing. 53.6% of my graduating class last spring, regardless of degree or school, is unemployed a year from now. That means you all just graduated, half of you are in debt, student loans, 50 grand or more, and half of you a year from now don't even have a job. All my best friends who don't do this with me, dude, they don't have jobs. Like, they're broke. Like, no money, man. You don't want to live life with no money. You want to have so much money, it doesn't even matter. That's why people do Vima, to have enough money to where it doesn't even matter anymore, guys. This is already working. There's nothing you can say to contest this. You're either in or you're out. You're either in, you want to make a lot of money, live the life you want, or you're going to go out, do what everybody else does. Oh, go to high school, get good grades. Go to college, get good grades. Make a resume. Go beg someone to hire you. And you're told when to show up, when to eat lunch, when to pee, and when to go home. Most Americans in this country are told when to eat lunch. And if you, and they're told when to take their own family on vacation, guys. You see those commercials, let's get more vacation days. Are you crazy? How about everyday vacation? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you don't even have, like, the days of the week shouldn't even matter to you, guys. Why does the day of the week even matter? Sun comes up, goes down, we make money while we're asleep. That's how Vima works. You're paid 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no matter what you are doing. So, like Chase said, if you're new tonight, the person who invited you, they care about you. They like, trust, and respect you somewhat to share this <laughs> with you, guys. Because this is going to get really, really big, okay? I mean, really, really big. Like I said, 4,200 college campuses in America with an average of 12,000 kids per school. 50 million college kids. I think VEMA-wide, maybe, maybe eight to 10,000 young people. That's it. So with that... Get back to the person who invited you, ask them why they're doing it, get your questions answered, come up to me, come up to Josh, come up to Grady Polson, get all your stuff answered. So if you're tuning in around the world, it's going to get big. Hopefully you guys are a part of it and rack them. Yeah. Yeah.